So for this video, I wanted to show the difference between Siri Shortcuts and the Shortcut app. So Siri Shortcuts is just something that is activated via Siri. And it can be two things. It can be either something that the app uh, that you're using has automatically created an option for a Siri Shortcut, or it can be things that you've done on iOS uh, either recently or over and over that you can create as well. So let's go ahead and look at day ones first. And I already had it there. So here's an example journal uh, since it doesn't have anything in it. But if you go to your settings and then you click on series shortcuts, you will see different options that day one has created. So you have the camera, you have audio, and whatever audio uh, setting that you have as the default, either transcription which you can record up to five minutes of audio and it will transcribe it for you. Or if you have the default set as just recording the audio, which you can do up to three hours. So whatever default you have there, that's what it will do. Or you can do text. So basically what this will do, when I click on this, I can give a Siri command and it will uh, run this shortcut uh, for the specific journal. So let's look at the example one and I'm going to do an audio one. And so it brings up the add to Siri screen. And when I click on the record, I can record my command. So transcribe to example journal. So now when I invoke uh, Siri, it put uh, two uh, TWO instead of TO right there. But it sounds the same to Siri. So I'm going to click on done. And let's go out of this real quick. So if I invoke Siri, Transcribe to example journal. So it'll open up Siri and it's automatically uh, transcribing my words, which I'm doing right now. So if I hit stop, you will see right there. A little hiccup there. So if I click done, then I'm done. And so that's uh, Siri shortcuts that you can set up through the day one app. You can also get it to it through the system settings. And if you click on Siri and search, you can see uh, all the different um, shortcut options that you have. And so you can set it up through there as well. Now the shortcut app, you can uh, create shortcuts uh, through uh, Siri or um, whatever an app has uh, donated certain things to the shortcut app. So if I type in day one, you can see here at the top there are series suggestions. And these are things that I have done recently uh, that iOS has picked up on and that I can create a shortcut from this. So if I, oops, let's say I want to do the audio, I can just click on that. And now I can set this up a little bit different way. So I actually like using this better because I can set it up so I don't have to invoke Siri and use my voice. Uh, I actually don't use Siri uh, via voice all that often, um, except for timers and making phone calls. But if I click on the settings here on the top right, I can rename this. Click on done. And I could add this to Siri if I wanted to, or I can show in the widget, which is actually my preferred method. So I'm going to keep it uh, show in widget, or I could add an uh, icon on the home screen, and I could just click on that to uh, transcribe in my example journal. So if I click on done, so I'm on my home screen. If I swipe to the right, you see that it shows up right here, transcribe to example journal. I hit it, and it automatically brings it up. So series shortcuts, and I'm going to do another another video here later on creating some templates for day one using shortcuts. But short uh, the shortcut app allows you to do a little bit more. Series shortcuts are things that day one has created for you uh, that you can invoke via your voice or uh, just common items that you've done in iOS that you can get to uh, from the systems manual or systems uh, settings.